Hey, what's up everyone? One Tech Traveler checking in here in Matsuyama, Japan. And if you haven't yet seen that review of the ITR Studio One backpack, do go ahead and check out on my channel uh, to see the full breakdown of all the different parts to it. This one is a bit more of a detailed review of using it for pretty much over a month, nearly two, and uh, sharing some of my thoughts on it, some ideas of how you can pack it, what you can pack inside. If you are looking at getting the ITR Studio One backpack and going in the ecosystem of modular cases, then this is probably my favorite module carry simply because it's lightweight compact and very versatile to carry all the range of things that you want to carry so let's get on with the review <laughs> So just giving you a quick breakdown of the sling module itself, it is a modular carry as part of the ITR Studio One backpack ecosystem and you can see it has four magnetic points on the back. This attached to the One backpack actually supports up to 35 kilograms of weight uh, for each point so it's very robust and very sturdy as a carry on its own. It feels really nice. The sling module itself is made out of premium materials that gives it a nice svelte feel. It's also got waterproof properties so if you are caught out in the rain just simply carrying the sling module then you don't have to worry all of your stuff inside are going to be protected and it simply beads off the YKK zippers also enclose in on themselves to give you that uh, further waterproof sealant and then you just have a few more details on the front with the ITR studio subtle branding on the bottom right hand corner the front compartment with stitching on either side for reinforced uh, zipping and then on the right hand side you have a strap that you can slide it out from the modular backpack itself uh, but also doubles up if you don't want to carry it around with the strap and you've got a nice uh, red trim just to keep things a bit more interesting a very clean aesthetically a nice design it does get a bit dirty after using it for the two months um, you can rub it away quite well but otherwise just some simple padding with water can help you get rid of it but that's the only thing that I find on the front that would have made this much more durable and we'll see how that holds out but what can you actually fit inside this so I've actually packed it normally how I would in a normal real day-to-day -day scenario when I'm using this on its own it's also the variety of things that you can just fit in together to give you that idea of how much you can actually pack in here on the front compartment I like to store my compact camera uh, more so than a smartphone and something that's very nimble with all of that quality and it's simply my RX 100 and I also like to pair it with my wireless earphones simply when I want to go untethered from my phone you get a lot of confidence from making sure everything is all closed up like so there is no anti-theft locks so to speak there's no padlocks or tethering of the zippers which I would have liked if you're carrying more expensive gear let me just unzip that and voila you can see we've got loads of things here so I'm a bit of everything. I like to read a game on the go, a bit of photographer, and then also just carry some extended cables and uh, power just to keep me going throughout the whole day. Inside, uh, I have my Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. You can also pack the Nintendo Switch itself with the Joy-Cons attached to it. Very comfortable and plenty of space. So. This actually works very nice for it and it's kind of like it was made for it um, but it's definitely versatile to fit everything else. And then as well in the main compartment I also like to carry my book around and then to go with that camera who knows if I'm doing a vlog or anything like that then I always carry my handy selfie stick around. So that's the main compartment in here and I actually have a bit more space to put things on top but I don't like to stack too much and if you have a small mini tablet it can definitely fit in here whether it's an 8 inch and iPad mini they will actually fit in here no problem uh, both height and width. On the front space we have three different pockets which are great for storing your cables so you can see I have one of my USB type C cables here. You can store extra joy cons extra batteries for your camera and then finally we have the zip compartment and in here also far is just my power bank 10,000 milliamp power bank uh, very nice and svelte classic clean lines that is how I like to store everything in here you can actually roll it all the way so I did that when I'm not using this particular module but when I do for the day then you can simply unroll it it still retains a lot of its structural form because of the way that it's been stitched together. This is everything. So let's go and pack it all in. And you can kind of see how easy and quick everything packs in neatly. You don't really have to do too much of a Tetris game to see how to fit everything. Zip that up and then finally on with the small accessories. 
and Joy-Con grip. Ready for some daytime exploring, attaching the ITR interchangeable strap, and away we go. This has really been my favorite module out of the ITR Studio One backpack ecosystem, simply because when I don't want to carry around the full pack itself, then I can slide this out of the magnetic points and then take it along with me. And actually it's big enough to fit all the things that I'd want to carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis without something so cumbersome. Pairing it with the ITR interchangeable strap like so is an essential to making the most out of the individual modules. The bigger question is, should I be looking at something like this if I am not? And to be honest, you get a lot of good value for your money. Uh, has some efficient and very smart pockets in here whilst being big enough to carry a lot of your things, very thoughtful compartments and zippers inside and out whilst giving off a very clean aesthetic exterior. The only thing is on the back, you do have the magnetic points. However, since you're mainly gonna see the front space, then it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, I definitely haven't found any issue simply because it's always uh, paired towards my back. So you don't see that. Over the two months or so that I've been using it, the one that pack has been my day-to-day -day, everyday carry. And I simply like sliding this out and carrying something more nimble and fitting everything in being waterproof gives you that peace of mind when it's when you're caught out in the rain it simply beads off the surface whilst having the enclosed uh, zippers internally uh, means that you've got that all-round proofing something that I would have liked is the interchangeable strap being a bit longer if I wanted to carry it more messenger style but for someone who likes a good fit around my body uh, I found this to be no problem but for other people uh, it's just something to bear in mind you do get some reasonable buffer of having it sway around your body um, but this is definitely more of the tighter fit uh, the good thing is that they are interchangeable so if you have straps of your own that are more comfortable then you can simply uh, do it that way otherwise I hope that ITR studio make that small adjustment in the future so thanks a lot for joining me that is the review of the itr studio sling module if you want to see the rest of my detailed reviews of the modules go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down below and exploring the rest of my stories around travel lifestyle and tech i'll see you in the next video but until then keep being awesome all right let's go on an adventure